Donald Trump had his Butler PA rally. At this rally, they tried to connect him to religion as much as possible. They had Ave Maria play while he was out. And the lasting impression on social media from this event is how weird Elon Musk looks in basically every photo. This is personally upsetting to Elon Musk, as you can tell by his new profile picture, where he used a heavily edited version of his face wearing the hat from the rally to try to not look weird. But I would like to talk about what is MAGA up to post-rally. I haven't really done any updates today, so I thought this was a good one. You'll notice here what's being quote tweeted first. This says America. And you see that, and you see the flag, and you see that little check mark, and you might be thinking, is this from America? Like from the country? And the answer is no. That is Elon Musk's super PAC. His super PAC is now using the name America. It appears they just took it from whoever had it previously. And they are using it right now for this plot that Elon Musk is advertising. Sign our petition to support the Constitution. Also earn $47 for every person you refer to sign the petition. If they're in a swing state, goal is to get 1 million voters in swing states to show support for free speech and right to bear arms. Why are they doing this? Well, it seems pretty blatant what the plan is. If you want someone to vote, If you are trying to get people to register, you can't pay them. You can't give them a cookie. But what if you had a petition that pays $47 to whoever refers the people? And what if it's not for them to register to vote? It's for a poll that they have to be registered to vote to then do. You you see how this works out? Now. As you might imagine, a lot of people are questioning the legality of this approach. Is this breaking the law? And the answer to that appears to be no one's 100% sure. And anything involving court would probably be after the election. This is a last minute thing. And I think that's purposeful. But this isn't the only member of the Musk family getting some negative attention. Let's take a look at his mommy. Because his mommy got very, very upset. His mommy was very upset that people were making fun of her sweet darling at the actual event with Donald Trump. So she says, um, the Democrats have given us another option. You don't have to register to vote on election day. Have 10 fake names, go to 10 polling booths and vote 10 times. That's 100 votes and it's not illegal. Maybe we should work the system too. And this is in reply to her... (laughs) baby boy. And obviously, as you can see by the fact check there, this is illegal. The Musks are just giving up on pretending legality matters to them. They are probably going to leave the country if Donald Trump loses. I I get that feeling. I get the feeling he knows the end is near and he's going to lose his government contracts and maybe the government will take over SpaceX, uh, nationalize it, And he seems to be planning his escape if Donald Trump doesn't save him. But what about not Musk, right? What about Marjorie Taylor Greene? What is she doing to really bring in the voters? Raw milk does a body good. Make America healthy again. Yeah, don't don't drink raw milk. You'll get sick. And if Marjorie Taylor Greene gets ill from drinking this milk, she will just blame the people she also says are the ones controlling the weather and have space lasers. Yeah, this is her push. I don't know why. I don't know why she thinks this is like going to be a big thing. Anyone who, I mean, there's been a, a push like for people to be like the Amish trying to get them to vote, which is really funny when they do like their pushes to the Amish on cable. I love that because, you know, the Amish don't watch TV. Um, but, but I don't think this really is bringing in new voters for Republicans. Right. And there's a lot of stuff like this happening right now in conservative media where people like Marjorie Taylor Greene and Elon Musk are seemingly just having a bit of a freakout. Um, This plan here, for example, I've actually seen a couple J6ers try to like sign people up to, uh, you know, make money. Oh, I can't, I'm not, I haven't asked for donations, but sign up on this for me. And if this ends up being illegal and they go after the people that made a bunch of money from it, 
It would be really funny if the J6ers got roped into it again, this time due to listening to another millionaire, Elon Musk, instead of Donald Trump like last time. But you might be wondering, what is Trump doing? Because obviously we are in the last 30 days. This is very important. Donald Trump needs to really be focused on the campaign trail and doing interviews. If you haven't seen, Kamala Harris is doing Howard Stern, Stephen Colbert, 60 Minutes, all sorts of podcasts traveling all over the country. So what is Trump doing? What is the Trump plan to really grow his base? Um, this would be Donald Trump advertising a book for someone. I'm going to make the assumption he's probably getting paid for this book promo, but it's a book promo. And uh, he also has posted, uh, oh, uh, this book promo. But don't worry, Donald Trump has another plan. He's also been promoting this book promo. Yeah, there's another one. There's always another one. Grift after grift after grift after grift. Now, why are all of these books being promoted so hard, so quick? Well, think about it. If Donald Trump wins, this book is saying on November 5th, we will return the power to the people, or at least Trump is saying it in this. So this is supposed to be about the deep state and all this. If Trump wins, theoretically, this book should do well. All of these books should do well. But if Trump loses the election, if they expect Trump to lose the election, every single one of the books I showed you, they don't matter. <sighs> Polling is not being kind. Now, with all this being said, what are Republicans, just different MAGA groups on social media coalescing around right now? Some of them are now claiming the new hurricane. They're claiming it's a liberal plot. To prove climate change, the liberals have created another hurricane, and they're targeting it at Republicans. <sighs> Gotta love that. <sighs> it's, non it's nonsense. Now, I will say, I didn't do as much chud watching today as normal. I did... I did see someone at the Freedom Corner wearing a Trump hat appearing to, like, dance and stuff uh, in a clip. But I, I kind of took a little bit more of a break today uh, with, with the Chud stuff, and I got other things that I have neglected to do and needed to get done done today. Um, but yeah, um, I, I really, like, I actually had this video done earlier. And after I finished the video and I was done with it i then realized that the super pack was then it's newish that it was i don't know how new i saw someone claim this weekend i can't confirm it but i know it is newish they received the american name the america name on twitter and i had to do an update for the video because i just did a re-recording because trump's just promoting books now what presidential candidate do you know 30 days before the election and their big push after their, what's going to be probably their biggest rally before the election day, uses that chance to promote book sales. Maybe, maybe I'm forgetting a president who did that. But uh, I mean, honestly, most of what Trump does doesn't make sense for someone who wants to win an election. It, it And I, I, I kind of wonder if he does. Um, now, of course, I'm sure he would like to stay out of prison. But I have no doubt that if I have no doubt that Trump's people have at least planned out if he decides he wants to flee the country, how exactly he would do it. Um, I have to imagine that is uh, something that has been thought about. And a lot of people would say, oh, he's going to go to Russia. My guess is Argentina. 